I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin in Don Hall with the I S U P K. And the commander Johnny Yahana in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You gotta learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy I'm saying, good news to like school universal practical knowledge. Come on, I want West 125th Street out of Harlem, New York. Give me Ephesians 4 and 29. You understand? We are high, we are here to uh, to tell blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians the truth according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because we are the people of the book. Unlike what the church say, church includes everybody. Everybody in the church can be God's people, but that's not what the Bible says. The Bible's specific, you know what I'm saying? You got to be a Negro or so-called um, Indian, Native Indian, so-called Latino, in order to be an Israelite, in order to be these people that are written up in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Got it? 4 and 29. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. That's the church. In the church, you get all kinds of corrupt communication. But God wants his people, his prophets, to come out here and teach other black people no corrupt, read it again. Let no corrupt communication. No, no kind of corrupt communication. We're gonna tell you what it is. When, when you see us out here, whether we be in DC, New York, where we at, it says ICPK, there will be no corrupt communication. We're gonna tell you what it really is, you know what I'm saying? Our oppressors is killing us. Right. You know what I'm saying? The slave masters is killing us. The colonizers is killing us. You know what I'm saying? And, and guess what? We got Uncle Charms amongst us too. They love the colonizers. You understand? They side with the colonizers. They want the best interest for the colonizers. We, uh, we, uh, UPK, we're going to tell you, like I said, with no corruption. Read. But that which is good to use of edifying. You know what I'm saying what is good to use of edifying, meaning. We'll go in this book and we'll tell you what God say. What God say in the rules and regulations, the law, statutes, and commandments is good for black people and Hispanic and Native American Indians. Let me give you, I'm gonna give you a few examples. Pork, crab, shrimp, lobsters, although they play it out as delicacies, right? God calls that an abomination. You know what I'm saying? Catfish, an abomination. Being, being, being a homosexual, or lesbian, America calls that an alternative lifestyle, but God calls that an abomination. It's a death penalty offense, you know what I'm saying? Which is upheld by the Christian church. The Christian church will allow you to be whatever you want to be. You know what I'm saying? The Catholic church will allow you to be whatever you want to be. Any other religion that exists on the face of the earth, if you are the Lord's people and you into whatever religion, you can be whatever you want to be, but God don't want you to be whatever you want to be. He wants you to be who you really are, which is an Israelite. You understand? Read. That it may minister grace unto the hearers. And that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to give us an opportunity to change ourselves, a time period to pay something back, which is what? Pay for what we did wrong, right? We have that opportunity to turn back to the Lord, to change our ways, to leave our vices, you know what I'm saying? Do what is right. So guess what? Hey, thank you, brother. Pick up a fly there, you know what I'm saying? 
to do what's right. I mean, black people, Hispanic, and Native American leaders, we want to do the right thing, you understand? But if we got wrong leadership, wrong politicians, wrong black religious leaders, they're never ever going to give us the leaders to the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Only a man, a black man by the name of Jimmy Hunter, who follows a black man by the, who the world calls Jesus Christ is going to give you the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me tell you something. This month, they're going to go into that wicked holiday as they do every year. You know what I'm saying? Which is, what I'm talking about is Halloween. A lot of our people would go to church and also have a Halloween mass. And they go together, you know what I'm saying? Church and Halloween and all types of holidays that we celebrate in America, that we celebrate throughout the world, it's all satanic, you know what I'm saying? Including the church that you go to, including the mosque, including whatever religion you're into, it's all satanic, it's not of the Lord, you understand? So I got this little article here, it's just a little tidbit, right? But it's going to the dark history of Halloween, if you could. Just read it. Oh. Few paragraphs by here, you know what I'm saying? Read. In Celtic tradition, Celtic, Salwin tradition, mark that day that summer was coming to a complete close. The harvest was ending and the throngs of winter were near. It's telling you that in these heathen traditions, right? It was, it will mark the ending of summer clothes, meaning now it's transitioning from summer unto the colder days, which is fall and winter. Read. The shadowy winter was a time associated with death followed by eventual renewal. It's associated by death and eventual renewal, you know what I'm saying? According to these Celts, these Celts, you know what I'm saying? These Celtic tribes. Read. Celts believed that this was the night where the veil between the living and the dead was lifted and the, and the spectral past returned to the earth. This is all a bunch of Nazis, but that's what the Celts believed in, you know what I'm saying? You scroll down a little bit more, right? You see what right, go there. Cut over come. It was the early first century when the Roman Empire had managed to conquer most of the Celtic territory. Okay, so now they've conquered the Celts, right? And now the Roman Empire is about to take on that coast and also read. During this century's long rule, a few Roman fall, fall festivals combined with some hay, some hay, sour. Romans also celebrated the day through a holiday called Ferelia. Throughout the years, this eventually blended with the holiday of of uh, Samhain. Samhain. So Ferelia and Samhain all was combined together in during the time of the rule of the Romans when they conquered the Celts. You know what I'm saying? But keep going. The next Roman festivity that influenced Halloween was one that honored Pomona, the Roman goddess of fruit and vegetation. Pomona was a goddess, you know what I'm saying? And on that day, as you read that, we can um, scroll down a little bit longer. Go down to when they when, when they talk about the solos, okay? S-O-L, excuse me, S-O-U-L-E-R, right? Pomona, in that celebration, what they do? They would tie their hands behind their back and buy for Athens, you know what I'm saying? Doing this Romanistic, paganistic holiday, such as Samhain, and, uh, and, for, and for earlier, you know what I'm saying? Keep going. Eventually in medieval England, there was a group of people. So now, it went from the Celts to the Romans, now in medieval England, go ahead. A group of people called Solars. Solars, right? Go ahead, this is what the Solars do. The reason why this point is bringing out is because if you ever was curious of where does trick or treat come from? Where, is it that, where did that custom come from? It comes from the medieval England with this group called Solars, read. Who'd go around on Halloween begging the rich for soul cakes. Begging the rich for soul cakes, read. They were said to have prayed for people's souls in exchange for their cakes or food. So why I bring that part up? Because that is the Christian church right there. Specifically black and Latino and Native American in the Christian church. That's what we do, we go to the rich. In this case, you can leave it there. In this case, we're talking about America of a Caucasian race who dominate the planet, who dominate every country, every piece of land on the face of the earth and want to go out into space and also dominate that. But here's the thing, with Halloween, 
come great destruction. Now let me tell you something. In Brooklyn, New York, there was this art school. Hear me good, black people. In Brooklyn, New York, once upon a time, was full of black people and Hispanic people, you know what I'm saying? And there's a school right now that has on their storefront black children hanging from ropes. You understand? In commemoration of Halloween. You know what I'm saying? And they were allowed to do this. Now, I don't know about you, but I remember history, right? And we have a lynching sign right here. Back in those days, if your child was hanging by a rope, if your father was hanging by a rope, if your mother was hanging by a rope, they called you strange fruit. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.